In February, a most remarkable report came out from the UK government. It was from the Environmental Audit Committee, which is chaired by an MP called Mary Craig. <clears throat> That's not a picture of the UK government, although <clears throat> some of you might be forgiven for thinking so. <clears throat> it's actually a picture of some of my best friends. Jesse put it on to make me feel at home. But this report, it actually named some companies, some manufacturers and some retailers who were acting ethically, but it also named some who weren't. It was a very hard-hitting report, and it have invited radical new ways to address overproduction and overconsumption. One of those ways was clothing rental. Now, we all know some examples of clothing rental, mainly in the women's couture market, where women choose things online and wear them once. But it's not a big market, although clothing rental is predicted to grow to $2.5 billion annual value by 2025. Through TCBL, we've developed a brand new radical business model for clothing for men, where locally designed, locally manufactured clothes are matched to men's individual sizes, requirements, tastes, styles, the preferences of their friends, and they're actually sent to men on a regular subscription basis. They don't choose them. Their partners don't choose them. They're chosen by data and artificial intelligence. And I can comfortably say, of all the projects I've ever worked on in my career, this one has attracted the most interest. Uh, this short video, it's three minutes long, includes Mary Craig, the chair of that environmental committee who produced that report, and our very own global style guru, Rita, who's here with us today. So this is a first, this is a global premiere of my Yorkshire wardrobe, so I really hope it works. People are moving away from the concept of ownership. Everybody's digital streaming. People are signing up to a digital service. People no longer need to buy products. So what my Yorkshire wardrobe is trying to achieve is where people can subscribe. It's a new rental model for clothing, and I think it's the exciting future of fashion in this country. Now, clothing is a service. You don't have to go out buying clothes anymore. What you need arrives, it's ready to wear. It's like having your own personal stylist. Somebody who understands changes in fashion and the trends in fashion produce the clothes for you. Perfection. Stylish. Ready for you. Made for the types of activity that you're doing that day. I've, I've bought stuff online and thought, oh, that looks great. And then it comes, it's like, it's not quite right. It's not the right fit. The goods will be tailored to the individual. And look, a million dollars. And then somebody else dry cleans it. Somebody else worries about it. And then you get the next ones moving in. Absolutely amazing. The software platform will be able to take feedback from body scanning. It'd be good to have something where it kind of planned ahead a little bit more, that'd be really helpful. We can connect social networks, your uh, emailing. It will also be to look into their calendar to see if they've got a business meeting followed by um, an evening do. Things like weather and transport and travel alongside your known profile for clothing. I guess the data can actually know somebody better than they know themselves. All of that is possible now with, with artificial intelligence. And it's bringing that new sort of digital technology together with the traditional apparel manufacturing that makes this project so different and so special, I guess. The fast fashion model has led to an overproduction, an overpurchase, and an underutilisation of clothing. I'm quite bad for wearing clothes once and not really wearing them again. There's probably a lot of stuff that's gathering dust that doesn't get worn as often. In my industry, I find it extremely worrying that we've now become the biggest polluter on the planet. If fashion continues on its current track, it will account for a quarter of the world's carbon budget by 2050. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All of this waste that's getting put into the environment that goes into landfill can be reduced by clothing becoming a service and getting out of that habit of buying throwaway fashion. We need to go back to our heritage, back to our roots, and my Yorkshire wardrobe is one way of us doing that. Yorkshire is synonymous with quality. This area is rich in manufacturing, rich in know-how and capability as well. Locally sourced products being bought by local people, made by local people as well. I'm quite proud to be from Yorkshire. Why not source more things locally? It makes sense. It's a it's win-win. 
Having an app that was a, basically a personal stylist, knowing me, uh, knowing how I like to dress, would make my life a lot easier overall. I think it's a really, really good idea. Better for our industry here in Yorkshire and better for the country. This could be something really big. My Yorkshire wardrobe. <clears throat> Ultimately scalable. <clears throat> Very sustainable, very replicable. We're going to give it a try now and we'd be happy to share it with you so you can do it in your locality too. Thank you.